This one is by subscriber request. Let's go. What's going on, Mountaineer Nation? Jordan Cruz back here with the Country Roads webcast. And we're looking to start a new video series that we're calling Buy Subscriber Request. And our first subscriber request video, here it is right here. This one's for Joshua Messi. We really appreciate your support, Joshua, and appreciate you reaching out and asking about this video. So that being said, before I get into the video, if you would do us a favor, hit that like button. Helps this video hit the YouTube algorithm. Helps more Mountaineer fans be able to see this Mountaineer football content. And if you would, if you haven't already, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Helps us, helps you, helps get more of this Mountaineer football content. Out to Mountaineer Nation. That being said, let's get into it. Okay, so what Joshua Messi requested was for me to show my WVU jersey collection. He wanted to see it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I've got it organized kind of in a chronological order here a little bit from, you know, the early fan days all the way through to the most recent and then some special ones here at the end. But uh, we'll run through them. And I hope you enjoyed this, Joshua Messi. Appreciate the support. And uh, anyone else that has a subscriber request video, whether it be for me or Bradley or Steven or, or whoever, whatever you want to do within reason, drop it in the comments. We'll try and do our best to get it to you in a timely manner as soon as possible, um, if it's achievable. So uh, definitely we're doing these buy subscriber request videos now as well. So uh, anything you want to know, just uh, let us know and we'll try and get it out to you. That being said, here we go. With the GOAT, Pat White. This is the blue Pat White with the jerseys that they wore from 2007 through 2012. Honestly, probably my favorite design they've had in my lifetime. You get the stripes in the front, the stripes on the sides. Uh, Dub B, flying Dub B right there on the neckline. And of course, this is the goat himself, Pat White. Uh, as you can see, five there and the five on the back. Uh, as you can see, this is before I was able to get them with the names on the back. So the first few here do not have the names on the jerseys, but about halfway here, you'll see, well, I guess after about the first four, you'll see that then I started being able to get the names on the back and um, from there on. So, and I've, you know, gotten a little bit more into it as the years have gone on as far as trying to match the team and stuff like that. But of course, I digress. I'll talk more about that when I get into it. Next up, we've got the gold same jersey style, the 2007 and 2012 jerseys. This would be the gold Noel Devine. Love the gold. I know it's really kind of like a hate or love it type thing for Mountaineer fans, but the gold has always been my favorite jersey since I became a WVU fan. I love the gold. I think 2007 was the first time they broke out these gold jerseys, actually. And uh, to mixed results, uh, some people love them, some people hate them. I love them. My favorite for sure is gold. And, you know, I always wanted a gold helmet and gold pants to go along with it. Didn't get that until 2013, but always had the gold jersey starting in 2007, and it's a favorite of mine for sure. Uh, that's kind of why I went with gold again later on when I got the gold Tavon Austin here. Same jersey, but you see it's the Tavon Austin number one there. And then, of course, from that same era, still in the same jerseys that we wore from 2007 to 2012, we got the Geno Smith away jersey in the white version. And I really do like these uh, away jerseys as well because kind of similar to the Country Roads uniforms that West Virginia released, you get the gold and the blue together, whereas West Virginia's white jerseys you'll see here in a little bit that they currently wear in this era that they've unveiled, you know, since 2019. It's just blue, no gold outline. But these I love because you get the gold stripes with the blue outline and the blue numbers with the gold outline. I love the incorporation of both colors, you know, even on the on the flying WV, if you can see it here, um, they've got the blue WV with the gold outline. And I really like that when they um, outline the color with the other secondary color, whether it be blue numbers with gold outline or gold numbers with the blue outline. But that's one of my favorite things about the Country Road uniforms that West Virginia un unveiled. If you haven't seen our video about the Country Road uniforms, go back, check that out. Those are awesome. Um, that's kind of what inspired this video. I believe Joshua Messi dropped his comment requesting the to go through the jersey collection on that video, so uh, definitely you should check that out as well. But that being said, let's move on now. Now we're on to the jerseys that West Virginia unveiled in 2013, and they wore until 2018. The second most recent um, iteration, this was under the Dana Holgerson regime, and the first one I had in that era is also the first jersey I had with the name on the back, and that would be the gold Carl Joseph, as you can see here. I really do like these jerseys a lot as well. Not as much as I like the 2007 or 2012 ones, but I do like the, the different color sleeves. You get the blue sleeves and the blue side underneath here. Gold stripe on the sleeves. 
still got the flying WV on the neckline. And the one thing that was cool about these is the canary on the inside. I don't know if you can see if I can get close here so you can see. The canary on the inside, I'm just trying to get to focus there. There we are. The canary on the inside neckline um, is, you know, coal miners. They used to take their canary with them and the canary would let them know when they got too deep into the mines. And that was a big thing with this uniform was the coal mining aspect really inspired these. The numbers were designed to look like pickaxes. I think a lot of people hated those numbers. That's something they tried to correct a little bit with these to the, this most recent uniform that they built in 2019, but I thought that was cool. A lot of cool little details, you know, about West Virginia with the, you know the canary and the pickaxe numbers and stuff like that was one of my favorite things about these jerseys. And of course, with these jerseys, you also went from only having a blue helmet to having a gold helmet and a white helmet as well. Something that's continued and something that I personally love. And then, of course, on the back of the neckline, something that still continues now: Montani Simpera Liberi. Uh, Mountaineers are always free, the monitor that's on the state seal there. And so that's also continued now as well. And even in the in the new uniforms, the Country Roads uniforms, it says Q Country Roads where the Montana Simpera Liberi is on all these other uniforms. And that will continue on throughout here, uh, throughout the rest. And then next, the blue version of that same era uniforms and one of my all-time favorite Mountaineers, the guy with all the heart in the world, Skylar Howard. And I love this guy a lot. Um, so underrated, one of the most underrated players, I think. Um, you know, I loved him from day one. Took a lot of hate during his career here, got into a lot of arguments over the guy. But, uh, you know, 10 win season, still Western is only 10 win season in the Big 12. But I digress, different subject for a different time. Anyway, even back to the jersey. The blue version, I think that the one thing about this that stands out, of course, it's really never been seen in any other Mountaineer jersey that I know of, is the black that's incorporated. You get the black neckline here, all around the neckline's black. The sleeves are black with the gold stripes and then of course you know the black piping throughout as well and as I said the canary on the inside and then the Montani Semper Liberi through the neckline flying WV still on the neckline as well. Uh, these weren't bad. I don't know about the blue and the black. I, it's not that I'm not the one of those people that's like black's not our school color, gray's not our school color. I think it's fine to throw other you know special or alternate edition jerseys in there but I just didn't really think the blue and the black went together that well. I'd much rather they just be completely blue with the gold stripes, but I still like the jersey though. And Skylar Howard, like I said, underrated. Skylar football. Next here we have Will Greer. Same era uniforms. Uh, got this one 2017, I believe. Like I said, they wore these 2013 through 2018. And as you can see, pretty much uh, pretty simple. Blue jersey, blue sleeves instead of the black on the gold. Looks much better. Montana St. Bear on the neckline. Blue numbers. Flying WV on the neckline. Good looking jersey all around. And uh, another great Mountaineer quarterback here in Will Greer. Funny enough, uh, I just realized recently that that was the last WV quarterback jersey I bought for a while. And I'm not trying to diss on Mountaineer quarterbacks or anything in recent years since Neil Brown took over. But I think that goes to show if it's not a quarterback's jersey that someone was willing to buy, the West Virginia has really been lacking in the quarterback department uh, recently. So hopefully that changes this year, and I think it will. And more on that here in a little bit. But next, my favorite Mountaineer on the current Mountaineer, this will be his senior year, bought this before his redshirt freshman season in 2019 as soon as they unveiled the new jerseys, and it is the Grays. This is the new style the West Virginia unveiled for Neil Brown's first year. They've been wearing it since 2019. This is the gold version, I mean, excuse me, this is the gray version. And I absolutely love the grays. I know they had a version of the grays from 2007-2012. Uh, I think they did it one season, maybe in 2012. I want to say that was the first year in the Big East. But these are even more beautiful than those were. I know some people, you know, hate the grays, but I absolutely adore the grays. I think they look sharp. I think they're great for recruits. And, you know, uh, Sam James, uh, that freshman season, he uh, he was our best offensive weapon. And I bought this jersey prior to that season expecting that. So I felt pretty vindicated when he had the year that he did. And I'm hoping that this year he has a year that's more similar to that year, but even better. And I, I'm expecting a breakout from my guy Sam James. Love my guy Sam James. But here, let's take a look at these uh, new iterations that West Virginia broke out in 2019. 
So as you can see here, uh, the one thing that I do like about these grays a lot, you know, I talked about these jerseys West Virginia unveiled in 2019, most of them just have a solid number, no outline. But as you can see on the grays here, they've got the blue number with the gold outline. I think that looks really great. Of course, you get your Big 12 logo, your Nike logo, and then the uh, blue WV, flying WV on the neckline, and of course, Montanis and Perry still on the neckline. As I said, that remains true. Uh, as you can see Sam James on the back. Uh, the blue uh, stripe on the sleeve kind of separates it out a little bit, makes it not such a solid color. Really like that, and I really love the grays, you know. Hate them or love them, I know a lot of people have their certain films about them, but they're one of my favorite uniforms there, as you see there. With Sam James, I know he has a great senior year of this season from then, continuing on, of course, same era. Darius Steels, and this is the blue version of the new uniforms, newest uniforms of West Virginia broke out in 2019 they've been wearing ever since. The thing I like about these uniforms is they're almost like a mesh between the classic and the modern look. Um, classic lies in the type of uniform West Virginia wore during the Don Nealon era, but also bringing a little bit of flair to them and spicing them up a little bit with the, you know, jersey sleeves and the different color necklines and stuff. But as you can see on this one, as I said, on these 2019 jerseys, most of them just solid numbers. You get the solid gold numbers, gold flying WV on the neckline, gold uh, neckline coming around all the way to the, to the front here where the flying WV is. Montani Semper Liberi in the collar. As you can see, Darius Stills, the 56 there. Consensus All-American, latest Consensus All-American, first since Steve Slayton. So, had to get that jersey as well. Uh, moving on, now we have the gold version of the 2019 to current uniforms. And this one is Letty Brown. I believe I brought, bought this prior to last season, I want to say. Um, like, like I said before, love the gold. My favorite. Um, in these iterations, it may be the grays, but gold's right there with it. Uh, love it for sure. Uh, same stuff. Solid number. All blue on the golds. Blue neckline to the front where the uh, blue fine DV sits on the gold. Montanis and Bear, LeBerry in the neckline. And then, of course, you can see Lady Brown there on the back. So, what I've tried to do now is I want to try and have a jersey that's current for you know whoever's playing so I'll try each year the Sam James one worked out great because I could wear that one for four years but I'll try and have a uh, jersey that someone's playing that year and also what I want to try to do now what I've been trying to do in recent years um, is try and have every color so that I can match you know whatever the team's wearing that week and uh, right now I have green I have gold blue gray and white but blue is there he's still so he's no longer active so I needed to get another blue one so um, went ahead and did that we'll get to that in a second but first let me show you my white one which is still an active player so i have gray white and blue active for this year i think they're all three seniors though so i'll probably have to re-up all four colors next year but that being said let's look at the white and it is sharp um you know the stormtrooper look a lot of people like to call it and i like the white a lot i think i have the same knock on a lot of people do and i i really would love a gold outline in these white uniforms the solid blue numbers, I don't know, it's just, I think a lot of people think it kind of looks similar to Penn State and I think you just need to incorporate a little bit of gold in it to kind of differentiate that. But I know why they did and they wanted just to clean, you know, what they call the Stormtrooper look with the white helmets and the white pants. But uh, nonetheless, here is the white Dante Stills, as you can see, solid blue numbers, blue fine WV on the white thing there, blue neckline coming around. Montani Semper Liberi in the collar, I believe that's the only shade of gold on this uniform. Uh, blue stripes on the ends of the sleeves and then you see the Dante stills there on the back and then most recently had to do it I needed another blue one needed an active player as I said I hadn't bought a Mountaineer quarterback jersey in quite some time uh, now it's time for that to change because I think Mountaineer is going to have a stud behind center and of course I went with the JT Daniels but I uh, already like I said I already showed you guys the blue one but I did want to show uh, my most recent one, and of course, Montani Semper Liberi remains in the neckline. And then you see the Daniels there on the back. Hopefully he wears 18. Hasn't worn anything else, so I wouldn't expect him not to. And then lastly, here at the end, a few little special edition things. Not necessarily WVU uniforms, but WVU related. Uh, some stuff I thought you guys would like to see. And I hope you've liked this Joshua Messi. And anyone else that has a proper request video, be sure to drop that in the comments. We'll try and get to it within reason as soon as we can. Um, but here we are. This is the Pat White Dolphins jersey, gotten not long after he was drafted. Thought that was pretty cool, I've held on to it ever since. As you can see there, he was wearing number six when he was with them. 
And then also along that same lines here, we have the Steve Slayton Texans jersey. It's a little bit more nice embroidered, um, as you see there. Pretty cool, Slayton on the back. And then uh, this one most recently actually, um, a guy that I worked with, uh, he's actually was cousins with Nick Kwiatkowski and uh, so I was able to get this. I know Nick Kwiatkowski's played for a couple more teams since then, but this is his Bears jersey. As you can see, and the really cool thing about it is this here. Let's see if I can get it up onto the camera for you guys. It is signed by Nick Kwiatkowski actually right there. As you can see the autograph. Um, his cousin I worked with got him to sign it for me and, and brought it to me at work, so that was pretty cool. That Nick Kwiatkowski signed. And then this isn't a jersey, but I'm sure a lot of people have this, and I've always loved it, so I figured I'd show it off. This was released right after Pat White's senior year. I believe I went to an autograph signing, and they had these for sale, and I bought one, I think is what happened uh, when I got his autograph the first time. But as you can see, the greatest, the GOAT himself, Pat White, got the five with the wings, and then below it, you know, his quote there, once a Mountaineer, always a Mountaineer. Of course, it's a little faded shirts, you know, what, 15 years old now, I guess, or close to it. And then on the back, has the name, and is see if you can see it. See, it looks like just number five from far away, but if you get up close enough on it, if I can get it to, it has all of his records that he broke, all 26 WVU football and Big East and NCAA records that he broke throughout his career. Right there, that's what makes up the number five, so that's just a really cool shirt. And I love, I love that shirt, so I thought I'd show that off. And lastly, but surely not least, we have the Game Worn. Uh, 2007 to 2012 era uniforms. Uh, they sell these usually, uh, they'll do a gear sale before the spring game, especially if they're breaking in new uniforms, and that's what was happening. This was, I got this in 2013 when they were breaking in. The new variants here that I showed off earlier, they were selling off all the old ones. So this was game one, a lot of them were gone when I got there, so I just got what was left. Uh, 45 here, I believe the last person to wear this probably would have been Eric Kinsey, defensive lineman on that squad. Uh, but as you can see, yeah, it's got the, you can tell it's game more and game used for, you know, fit the pads better, but you can even see on the side here, if I can get close enough, the markings from, you know, where other helmets have hit it and stuff. It's a little dinged up there and dinged up on that side. And uh, right here is pretty cool. I always thought there's a patch covering because underneath it's the, it's the Big East logo. So I'm guessing oh, what they did on these jerseys when they joined the Big 12 for the one year, they only wore these one year in the Big 12. I'm guessing they patched over the Big East logo and put the Big 12 logo on top of that. But pretty cool game worn jersey so I uh, always cherish that one and of course this is like my favorite design the 2007 and 2012 uh, WVU uniforms so had to get me one of those but that's pretty much it uh, for now as far as I've got a I mean I've got a ton of jerseys but I'm not going to go through all my jerseys that would be hours long video I used to collect jerseys like like crazy when I was younger and once I outgrew them or if it was ones I didn't want to wear and I just wanted to collect I had jerseys covered and you couldn't see my ceiling I had jerseys completely taped to my ceiling in my walls in my bedroom when I was a little kid that's what it was it was football and basketball jerseys were pretty much like like my wallpaper like my posters if you will but uh, WV of course always holds a special place to my heart I'll continue to collect more and who knows maybe I'll give you guys an update video and another year or two down the road or something on my WV jersey collection but this one's for Joshua Messi really hope you enjoyed me going through this WVU jersey collection. Sorry it was a little long, guys. Had quite a few to get through and wanted to kind of explain a little bit about each one and, you know, kind of talk about it and go over it. And, and uh, But that being said, what are your guys' thoughts on the WVU jersey designs? What jersey was your favorite? You got the 2007 to 2012. You've got the 2013 to 2018. And, of course, you've got the most recently 2019 through current uh, iterations. And uh, what's your favorite overall and uh, not even if it's not this even if it's one that came before or you know whatever just let me know in the comments you know love to hear the, the interaction with you guys and what are you guys thoughts on the on the colors West Virginia is wearing the gray the gold are you guys fans of that and the country roads uniforms of course those are amazing hopefully West Virginia continues to incorporate that but having said that like I said subscriber request for Joshua Messi we want to do more of these buy subscriber request videos so anything you want to request drop it in the comments within re reason whether it be for me Bradley Steven whoever and we'll try to get to you get it out to you in the uh, timely manner but that being said as I said earlier if you haven't hit that subscribe button it helps us helps you helps get more of this Mountain football content out to Mountain Nation as we continue to try and grow the Country Roads webcast and that's a great way to support us here on YouTube another way to support us as I'm sure you've noticed throughout this video merch 
Got the merch link down in the video description. Check that out. You can get shirts like this. You can get hats. You can get bags. You can get coffee mugs. You can get cheaper things like stickers or buttons. Whatever your price range, I think we've got something that's going to fill it. And that's kind of the best way to support the Country Roads webcast there is by buying some of our merch. And it also helps spread our brand as people see with that. Hey, what's Country Roads webcast? And you can tell them a little bit about the podcast, a little bit about the YouTube channel. But that being said, we really appreciate your guys' support. As always, I'm Jordan Cruz. And until next time, let's go. Now, Nick. I don't want to see a face.